Okay, so first fail of the day. Ooh, I'll say first and only fail of the day. Um, well, it's not even of today. It is of this whole experience. So Tyler's um, crib is like a four in one, and it's supposed like you build it as a crib, and then it converts to a toddler bed or a day bed, and then it converts into a full size bed. So, he's already, I converted it to a toddler bed when he was like two, maybe one still. Um, and so now I'm con trying to convert it to a full size bed. However, when I ordered the rails, um, the person who was putting it together initially said it was the wrong rails because it was um, missing some holes or something like that. And I was like, damn. So I ordered a whole new bed, 150 some odd dollar new bed, uh, panel bed. And I was taking apart his toddler bed so I could take it back downstairs and get ready to throw it away or something, do something with it. And when I was taking it apart, I realized that the holes that we were looking for were there. They were just behind one of the panels. So now I'm trying to put the damn thing together myself and I don't have any other screws because I threw all the screws away and the instructions. Luckily, the instructions are online. So I do have the instructions, but I don't have the screws. So now I got to go to Lowe's in the middle of what I'm doing to get some screws and other pieces to be able to put this damn bed together. Like this bed has been, ooh, this has been a frustrating thing because I don't feel like, like I'm a step-by-step -step kind of person. Like I have in my head how the steps should go, what should come first, next, third, so on and so forth. And I can't finish his room until I get the bed together because to me, the bed is the first thing that needs to go together. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's factual, but that's how I feel. Okay, I finally got the bed together after it took all day. And I didn't even need the screws that I went to Lowe's to get. Because as I was pulling out of the Lowe's parking lot after I already bought $12 worth of screws, I remembered I didn't throw anything away. I had put it in a box. And I remember what box it was in. But I got the bed together. Now I'm just waiting on Fred Fran to get here. I think that's him. Oh no. Waiting on Fred Fran to get here to help me bring this heavy ass metal box spring upstairs. Move this stuff around. But while I'm waiting on him, I'm gonna go ahead and start unpacking some of Tyler's stuff. I did start putting some stuff in his closet but i'm not going to do too much stuff in there because i'm gonna go to ikea i'm gonna go to ikea later on this week and get i think it's called the boelzo bozo i don't know basil i don't know how to pronounce them ikea words but i'm gonna go get a closet system for him i think it should be pretty easy to do since it's not gonna be extremely big I do need to run out to maybe Target or Walmart or somewhere, maybe even Ikea still, and get some type of shoe rack for him because he is his mother's son and he has a bunch of shoes. I need a hat rack and I think that should be it. I tried to order most of the stuff for his room in advance, so I have pretty much everything as far as decoration um, is concerned. This is his little laundry basket. Everything is Paw Patrol down, honey. We, oh shit. We are Paw Patrol down. How cute. His little laundry basket. No job is too big, no puppy is too small. Hopefully they can, Paw Patrol gonna come help me do this laundry. But I'm about to put this in his closet. 
and really start getting things situated. Life in a world that keeps changing. Think that it's progress you're making. Copy and paste pretty faces all the time. Pictures so perfect we play through. Only cause you set up the angle. Web that you weave got us tangled. Caught in what's before our eyes. Show off your fantasy reality. Whoa. So if he's laying in his bed, this wall right here is where I would put the TV and it would have to tilt out a little bit. And being that his bed is right here, I can't put it on this wall. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I do know these damn ladybugs are still irritating me. I don't know if I said this in a video yet or not, but when I tell you my house is covered in ladybugs and I know that's supposed to be like good luck. And I was taking it as such at first and I was like, oh no, don't kill them. But they started to get on my nerves and they ain't paying this good old mortgage. So they gotta go. I think I've done pretty much all I can for right now until Frank Frank is here to, I'm just a talking all out the frame, but I think I've done all I can for right now until Frank Frank is here to um, put together the box spring and open up this mattress so that I can kind of lay stuff out and see it. So I'm going to give me something to eat. So, I'm going to take a break, pause for the colds. I'll be right back. It is a new day. I actually forgot why I forget, but <clears throat> I didn't vlog a lot last night because as you can see, we got Tyler's bed together. I can see that. Got Tyler's bed all done. Well, at least, you know, the bones of it. But it was late last night and I was sad. Y'all, I'm so tired of unpacking and all this stuff. So, now I'm about to dress his bed. Got the essential for the non-potty trained uh, bedroom owner. <coughs> I just spray hello for breeze. So, <clears throat> yeah. Um, Because everything smells like new furniture and box so i just sprayed hella for reads and but anyway this is a zippered plastic mattress protector i think i got this on amazon this is a mattress protector it's waterproof so that we don't mess up our nice new mattress while we are still being potty trained So Tyler's grandmother is like the best and she bought him these cozy um, sheets. Like I have these, she bought me a set for my bed too. Now these are the best sheets ever. Now they expensive, they expensive, but the best sheets ever. And she bought Tyler a pair. His favorite color is red. 
So she bought him a red pair. And uh, the colors in my room is navy blue and some other colors. Y'all will see that in another video. But she bought me a navy blue set. And y'all, these sheets are so freaking soft and just, oh my God, they just feel so good. And they're called cozy sheets. Now, I'm not the biggest on like name brand houseware stuff. Like, of course, you know, I know Ikea and um, like Martha Sue or Rachel Ray, that kind of stuff. But until she um, said something to me about these sheets, I had never heard of them before. But apparently they're supposed to be like hotel quality brand. They are, I think, 1800 Yeah, 1800 thread count. So these sheets is bomb. Like, if you don't have a pair, go get your pair. This video is not sponsored in any means. At least not by them. So, they ain't paying me to say that. I'm just telling you, these are good sheets. Oh, and they come with four pillowcases instead of just a regular two. So, you get, it's a six-piece set. So, you get four pillowcases, the flat sheet, and the fitted sheet. And I like on my bed, I like a lot of pillows. I'm not, because Tyler is a kid, like, suffocation hazard. I'm not going to put four pillows on his bed. I'm only going to put two. But it does come with four. So as he gets older, you know, he can have that. So another Amazon find. These stickers is 37 wall decals, Paw Patrol wall decals. And this is what all comes in the box here. I feel like these won't damage the wall. So it says no residue. And I'm just going to stick these kind of all over the place. I don't know. Okay, so moms that's watching this that have children that sleep outside of their bedroom, that don't sleep in the bedroom with them. So Tyler and I have always slept in the same bedroom. We don't, we haven't always slept in the same bed, but I had a two bedroom apartment. And so I had a guest room, which in it, it was supposed to be his bedroom, but it inadvertently became a guest room because I had multiple people that stayed with me throughout my leases that I had there. So Tyler and I have always stayed in the same bedroom and I'm really, and I sleep with my door shut. Like, I really have a hard time sleeping with my door not shut. So, moms watching this video, tell me down in the comments, do you sleep with your door shut? Or moms and dads, do you sleep with your door shut? Or do the kids sleep with their door shut? You keep your door open? Do you both keep your door open? Like, there will be a camera in his bedroom. But, I don't know. Like, how do you guys... How do y'all handle that? What do y'all do? Because I really can't sleep with my door open, but I don't want to shut him out. I want to be able to hear if he calls me or something like that. And my doors are thick. Like this house is built very sturdy and I'm scared I'm not going to hear him if he calls me or something and my door is shut. So can y'all help me? Tell me down below in the comments. What, um, what do y'all do? Life in a world that keeps changing. Think that it's progress you're making. Copy and paste pretty faces all the time. Pictures so perfect we play through. Only cause you set up the angle. Web that you weave got us tangled. Caught in what's before our eyes. Show off your fantasy reality. Whoa.
It isn't perfection, what is it we chase? Bow for your 15 seconds of fame. It's your time. Give me the messy, give me the pain. A rose will not grow without the rain. I wanna be someone who says there's more than meets the eye. Show off your fantasy reality. you slip in never know the things that you're feeling capture your body get your best side breathe in the world fake us a smile walk in the lines fine but i hope one day you'll break the Big reveal, his reaction. Ignore the boxes. It's a process. Tyler! Life in a world that keeps changing. Think that it's progress you're making. Copy and paste pretty faces all the time picture so perfect we play through only because you set up the angle <laughs> do you love it Perfection, what is it we chase? Bow for your you like it? seconds of fame. Yeah, it's your time. Whoa. Wait.